you've probably never even heard of them before today, but now a Russian punk band has become an overnight sensation. A judge sentenced the all-girl band to prison for this protest in Moscow's main uh, cathedral. They screamed obscenities, demanding that President Putin go. The CBS reporter Juliet Goodrich shows us international criticism is growing louder by the minute. The women of the provocative punk rock group Pussy Riot stood in a glass cage as they heard the verdict inside a Moscow courtroom. The judge found them guilty of hooliganism and inciting religious hatred and sentenced them to two years in prison. In February, the women burst into Moscow's main cathedral in ski masks and belted out an anti-government protest song, calling on the Virgin Mary to throw President Vladimir Putin out of office. Putin has close ties to the Orthodox Church. Opposition leaders say he is cracking down on dissent and free speech. The all-female punk band certainly capturing international attention. Protests going on throughout the Bay Area like this one here at Justin Herman Plaza this evening in San Francisco. Outside the Russian consulate in San Francisco, demonstrators dressed like band members. Most of my Russian friends wouldn't even come here to support me because they're afraid. They're afraid that the hands will reach for us and get us here. And you know what? I'm a little bit afraid. But just a little bit. Celebrities like Paul McCartney and Madonna are calling on the band members to be freed. The women have already been jailed for about five months, and it's not clear if they will get credit for time served. The White House said it was disappointed by the verdict, calling the sentence disproportionately harsh. A poll released today says Putin's popularity has dropped 12% in the course of the summer, his lowest ranked rating ever. Juliet Goodrich, CBS 5.